Hi guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we're talking all about serviced accommodation, VAT and TOMS. This is an area that recently throughout the businesses we've had a lot of interest in recently. So I thought let's give it a bit of coverage on the YouTube channel as well and spread some fantastic information that's gonna help you be a better and more well-informed property investor and hopefully save some tax along the way. So the first thing I want to talk about really is service accommodation and VAT because still a lot of people think that service accommodation falls under normal residential property in that it's not vatable. However, with service accommodation, as soon as you hit the £85,000 threshold in terms of bookings, and that's gross bookings, not including any deductions for Airbnb, booking.com, as soon as basically a guest has paid £85,000 to stay in your accommodation, actually at that point for most people your business has to actually register for VAT and what this means you have to start charging VAT at 20% on all of the supplies that you make all of your sales so if you were charging 100 pounds a night you now have to charge 100 120 being 100 plus VAT and also you can reclaim VAT on all of your input costs as well where there's VAT on them so accountancy fees fixtures and fittings professional fees however for rent to rent landlords this is a significant downside because your biggest expense is rent that you pay to landlords and unfortunately there's no VAT on this so when it comes to becoming fact registered for a rent to rent business it can mean a significant hit in your profit margin so now we've covered the basics of VAT and how they apply to service to accommodation or rent to service to accommodation as well. Let's re run through some of the different options that are available. So typically there are three schemes available. The first one is not really a scheme, but it's the standard rate and it's basically how you account for the thing. So you charge 20% VAT on all of your sales and you reclaim any VAT on your inputs. It really is quite simple as that. However, for service to accommodation, this is typically the least favorable simply because for most people you can't charge VAT on the supplies that you make because where you do business to business supplies actually the customer doesn't mind paying VAT because they can reclaim it however where you're selling direct to a consumer they can't reclaim VAT so they just look at that total cost when making their purchasing decision and especially if you're a rent to rent landlord uh, rent to rent service accommodation provider you can't reclaim VAT on your rent which is your biggest cost so this typically means a big increase big decrease in profits and it's not what you want the second option is the flat rate scheme and this is basically where you charge you still charge VAT on all of your supplies but you only pay a flat rate over to HMRC in lieu of reclaiming any input VAT you can still reclaim VAT on certain significant expenditure, but for the most part, you don't. So for service accommodation, it's 10.5% that you'll pay as the flat rate with a 1% discount for the first year. However, to qualify for the flat rate, you have to be have under £150,000 worth of turnover when you register for the scheme, and you must leave as soon as your VAT inclusive turnover exceeds 230. So for most people, the flat rate scheme is only temporary because as soon as your business goes over and above that, you must go back to the standard rate. The third option that's been in place for many, many rent to rent landlords and service accommodation providers is TOMS, the Tour Operators Margin Scheme. There's actually a separate video on the YouTube channel all about this and the intricacies, but TOMS is a real hot debate at the minute because it's going through tribunal where it's gone through and HMRC is actually looking at how it applies to property investors and service accommodation landlords. Historically, it was kind of applied, many, many rent to SA operators kind of applied this and basically the way Tom's applies is rather than it being your total gross booking value that applies to determine whether you have to register for VAT it's your gross profit margin so as a result you can deduct the rent you pay to landlords which certainly buys you some leeway before you do have to register and when you do start to account for supplies under Tom's the VAT is significantly reduced when compared to the standard rate in some cases, I've seen the, the calculation be quite similar to the flat rate, but obviously, as we mentioned, when you become a larger landlord, the flat rate isn't an option for you. But service accommodation, TOMS, you know, what is the actual basics of how does it apply? Should you be applying TOMS? How can you apply? So the tribunals going through at the minute are looking at a couple of different factors. They're challenging the concept of material alteration. Because when you purchase, a, well, I'm not going to go into too much detail on TOMS because it could be a whole hour long webinar, but this is very basic information here, very headline information. But when 
you purchase a supply on the tom basically you can't materially alter it you can't change it you can't buy something in do something to it and then sell something out what your supply has to be pretty much exactly what you've brought in uh, but many rent to service accommodation landlords were buying in say units unfurnished on three or five year leases and then furnishing them and selling them back out on a nightly basis and still applying toms and you can see there that looking at this on an objective point of view you can see there's actually been a change in what that property is being used for the actual supply and that's exactly what hmrc are taking problem with as well they're basically saying that hang on mate you've got a five-year lease here but you're letting it out nightly material alteration unfurnished property you're furnishing it you're changing it essentially you got to look at it and say could you let this property out on airbnb in its current state and if you can't, the chances are your material altering it. And especially when it comes to the length of the lease as well, the whole Tom's legislation was kind of built around holiday operators. You know, so Thomas Cook, Tui, where they would basically take on leases of apartment blocks, hotel blocks for the summer seasons to, you know, get you there, get a charter in flights, do coaches and supply that packaged holiday that's what the legislation was originally built for and that's kind of how it's, it's still how it's applied but you have to look at that from hmrc's view when you're trying to claim it for your service accommodation business so if you are a rent to rent landlord hoping to apply toms you need your lease to be as short as possible ideally a year or less if you want maximum chance of success when it comes to hmrc you need to make sure that you are really just buying in a nightly, ideally as short, as short as possible lease, ideally furnished, you have to do nothing for it, ideally even bills included. Basically, you want to buy in a hotel unit and basically just sub, basically sublet that on, sell it on on a nightly basis. Because if you do anything else aside from this, this is where HMRC are challenging, um, go for the tribunals, and that's where you might risk a massive backdated VAT bill. Because remember, when you register for VAT, it's backdated to as soon as your turnover hit that 85K. So if you hit that three or four years ago and you're now doing two, 300K a year uh, for a couple of years afterwards, you might have a significant VAT bill coming your way, which for most people might bankrupt their business. But VAT is a massively complicated area. And of course, I'm not giving any examples on this. So you've got a lot of basic information here, which you can apply to your business, but do run this past your accountant or even better, a tax specialist. If you'd want to book in a consultation with myself, you can do so during the link. And here we can actually run through your specific circumstances, numbers, and I can give you guidance on the best way for you to look at VAT, Tom's, the flat rate scheme for your business. Thanks for watching guys. Please do give this video a thumbs up and make sure you hit that share button. See you next week.